Hello my friend, my name is José Cruz and welcome to my channel. Today I will show with you some benchmarks that I prepared here to compare my new MacBook 16 inch Pro and my current Dell Precision 5540. So if you have interest in this kind of subject, benchmarks doing the new M1 for development and also .NET subjects, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the, to the channel to not miss the next video is about benchmarks and details about .NET. So the first configuration that I have here is my Mac M1, is the M1 Max with 32 gigabytes of RAM, then also 32 cores of GPU. But today we are not planning to use the GPU here for this benchmark. The other machine that I have is this Dell Precision 5540 with an i9 9880. Um, also with 32 gigabytes of RAM and uh, a great also NVIDIA Quadro but same we are not planning the GPU today so the benchmark that I have here will be basically the build time that we will have also some benchmarks using benchmark.net that I know that specific to make sure some performances between methods but we can also see how each notebook will, notebook will perform using that Okay, so let's go first with our Dell Precision. Well, I'm really curious also to know um, how much time the writer will spend to open and load the project. Let's also test it. So here um, I will click on the writer to load. This is really okay, just the writer software, let's say. But now let's compare to load the project. Okay, cool. Load it. Really interesting. Um, I will probably are seeing the values here on the screen. I will also load the project now on a Mac. You are probably questioning, wondering why I'm not using Visual Studio. It's because two different uh, architectures, and I think Writer is more close with the UI and also the development for both environments. So let's open the Writer. And now let's make sure the load, the project load. Well, you we can see the values on the screen. So that's course I can notice easily that uh, the Rider Mac could launch, could load the project um, faster than the, the Dell. But okay, let's now go to the build part. Let's build first our project. Our project is a simple um, die straw with it, trying to perform the shortest uh, path from a source on a matrix. Also a factorial calculation using interactive version, also a recursive version. And we have also a serializer here using the Newton soft chase, the Newton soft library and the text JSON. So I try to simulate each part of our day by day work. I know that we are not coding factorial or dice during our days, maybe but uh, I tried to simulate the serialization calculation you know that was the objective here and based on the results we can also um, use it as a projection okay we will run first on Windows plug it both notebooks are on energy right now in the power supply and now I will run the, the build on Windows and then on a Mac Let's start. As a simple project, it will not require it will not require time to build. So yeah, that's good. Five point four five seconds. That's good time. Simple project, easy. Let's do it right now on a Mac. Let's start. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the difference is not so big, but as I say, if you have a big project with many class, it will be basically almost exponential, but you got what I mean. So yeah, 5.45, 3.67. Um, now let's run our benchmark. I will start again with no windows and then I switch to Mac. Okay. 
three, two, one. So in the meantime, if you're enjoying the content, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to hit the like button here and also the red button, the subscribe button. Thank you. So good, we have the results, let's see. Okay, running the last version of .NET 6, we had for the two first JSON versions, um, 335.9 nanoseconds, 685, 124, and also 114 for the factorial, the iterative and the recursive interactive, and also the dystro, the dystro with uh, 230. Really cool, the allocation is still being the same for both machines, with the, the framework doesn't change this part. So cool, let's skip this, these values in our head. Obviously I will show in the, the end of the comparison, the values. But yeah, let's run right now on a Mac. Okay, great, we had the, the test. And then we have also the runtime, how, it, how much time it is spent running the time. So here on this one, we spent one minute and 45 and the Mac we spent um, the global time one minute 35 on minute 39 so yeah that's that's not so so different but let's see the values of our test right so let's maximize this part and let's see here hmm. the first two verse the first two tests that's the JSON the serialization in JSON. Remembering that if you are curious to see the test, you can see the link below. Um, go into my GitHub and see. It's really simple test, but it's good to make sure the performance. Remembering that the .NET, the benchmark .NET lib is to compare methods. But perfect usage here also to compare machines. So here the first one, 284, again, um, versus 335, then 594, then versus 684 and then 40 that's really interesting for the factorial recursive versus 124 hmm. really really interesting but yeah you can see on your screen the comparative between both machines plug on energy on the power supply and now let's test again but on battery so let's remove here <coughs> the power supply on Dell and now so here the mag safe on the mag. So as you can see we are not running on battery anymore or are on energy anymore. Just battery. Let's run these tests again and see how it will perform. I will first start win on Windows again, and then we can compare. Let's do it. It was a cute in the same time, as we already know more or less how the percentage that each one has. Okay, we already have the test on Mac. Still running on the Dell. Okay, done. We have the test done. And let's compare now the same tests, but now on battery between them. So, whoa, we have now a raise of time here that uh, the both first JSON parsers. Now we have 462 against uh, 281. And also on the Dell, we have 933 versus. Um, 598 so yeah I will you are seeing the screen that's really really different now so yes I think that's available it's a good test to do also the battery because when we buy a notebook you are not planning only in staying on your your desk right it's why you are buying a notebook otherwise we will think about desktops and so on i mean for for the general case i hope you enjoyed this video and remember that 
if you are planning to upgrade your your notebook if you are planning to upgrade your your environment also thinking to switch from windows to mac just because of the ship think that uh, you should also feel comfortable on the environment that make you productive so if you're not using the right tools if you're not using the tools on a mac that uh, you feel comfortable well it's a thing that you have to consider and uh, leave, in a leave in a comment below if you want to see more benchmarks um, related with Docker, Kubernetes, and also subscribe to not, to not miss the next videos about the subjects. See you next video. Thank you. Bye.